on the beach that is so fun hi guys happy monday welcome to a new vlog We've got housemate of the year right here she's yeah, fucking... helping me work on a public holiday oh for fuck's sake door so I genuinely don't really get public holidays, which is fine because I have very cruisy, cushy hours. So exactly. I don't, so why should I? I, <laughs> I don't mind working on a public holiday. It's fine. You got to do what you got to do. Whatever. I, I mean, Whereas, as you know, I was so busy today. <laughs> Whereas Household of the Year here is helping me get my my work done. Getting the shot. Very grateful. So we're shooting Case to Fly. It's actually a fun one. I, they've given me like a bit more creative freedom with this one which is good I, I fall back a bit so I'm out on the streets shooting outfits that look like my iPhone cases and these ones are actually fucking great I'm gonna leave a link to this TikTok down below we've really nailed the the outfits yeah, I, they're fun they're cute yeah they're, they're good and like they're wearable as well it's not like I've just thrown like weird shit together and like I would never be caught dead in it like one of them is red and pink which I know is a sin controversial <laughs> Very, a bit controversial it's like black and navy who said you can't wear black and navy together oh, who I said that I don't know um, but yeah anyway we've got to go because uh, we're just shooting them out in the streets making it a bit more street style and fun uh, if you watch Stranger Things Crystal says that this outfit looks like who? Nancy. Nancy. Yeah, it's very Nancy vibes. It's cool. I'll yeah. insert a photo. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, but yeah we're gonna look for some nice spots to shoot in front of and then we're gonna take our books and go back and read on the south hill of Bondi get some lunch yeah. and it's just a beautiful public holiday day. This is Woo! literally, this is why we moved in together because <laughs> this shit is what we always wanted to do together. But it's like Crystal has to spend some time at the apartment that she's paying for. Whereas now it's not frowned upon for us to spend every waking second together. Exactly. <laughs> and it's so far so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then thankfully I leave for Europe in a month. So, <laughs> and that'll be right about the time where we're like, all right, <laughs> I'm done with One you. of us has to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, never. We literally <laughs> talked about how we're going to be sobbing at the airport. We're <laughs> already thinking about it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cry. Both of us. And we caught dead with it. <laughs> I don't even have tear ducts. <laughs> Some BTS for you guys that I never get for you. I remembered for once. Hey guys, Cass from the future explaining what just happened in those clips with the guy in the scooter. So Crystal and I were standing there, as you can see, shooting content, minding our own business, and you can see him ride past in the direction towards Bondi. We didn't notice him riding past, like he didn't make himself known, but you can see in the camera he's going in a certain direction. He's seen us and done a U-turn and come back, which that in itself is creepy and alarming. But anyway, he pulls up and he was like taking selfies in a bus zone. I'm going to have to give you a fine. And I was like, pardon? And he was like, oh, taking selfies in a bus zone. Like, I'm going to have to give you a fine. And so we like jumped up because we were like, oh, fuck. But then I looked at him and I was like, you're not in any kind of uniform. I was like, I'm sorry. Can I help you? Like, what, what's the problem here? Like, what's, why, why are you here? And he was like, 
oh, no, I'm just playing. Um, I saw you guys and turned back around. And at that point, I, like, checked out. And that's when you see, like, me walking off. And you can vaguely, like, hear him saying that. But I'm just like, that's so incredibly inappropriate. And the worst part is you can see that both of us aren't interested. He gives us a compliment and we walk off. Unfortunately, the camera cut out because this camera only films five minutes at a time. So it cut off. He gets off his bike. We're standing on the other end of the car, sort of like talking, just hoping that he takes the hint and leaves. He gets off his scooter, comes to the back of the car and keeps hitting on me. And he's like, I just wanted to tell you that you were, you were beautiful. And I was like, okay. And he goes, by the look of you, like, I thought that you must have been, like, American or something. And I was like, nope, just Australian. Like, thanks so much. And he was like, okay, and, like, sticks his hand out. And he's like, introduced himself. And I just, like, stared at his hand and didn't say anything. And then he just, like, kept coming forward. And I was, like, backing onto the road at this point and, like, forced me to shake his hand. And then I was like, cool, like, can you leave us alone? Like, we're, we're working. And he's like, oh, working on a, on a public holiday? Like, what are, you, what are you shooting? And I was like, we're shooting stuff for social media. And he goes, oh, you're a fucking influencer. Like, and cracks the shits, gets angry because he's clearly being rejected. This is the issue with women and men. Men can't fucking take no for an answer. And when they do, like, they get angry. And it's so, fr like, it makes me so angry because I was shaking after this. Crystal and I were so angry, but I'm like, we did nothing to deserve us. Don't fucking come and disrupt our peace. Just leave us alone. Like, I'm sick of men blatantly ignoring clear signs that a girl is not interested. And then when we say we're not interested, leave us alone, you have the audacity to get angry at us. Oh, it just pisses me off. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So it's 6 a.m. I am on my way to the gym. I slept okay last night. Not bad, not good. It's my dad's birthday today. He would have been 62. So today is always bittersweet. It's just a constant reminder of how young he was when he died, but... Alrighty, I'm back from the library. The video is uploaded. Um, I went to the supermarket and I'm making healthy shepherd's pie for dinner. So these are the ingredients. Just got mince, peas and corn, some tomatoes, uh, garlic, onion, carrot and kale for the base. And then I'm gonna do a sweet potato mash on top with some cheese. It's gonna be delicious. I also, put Worcestershire sauce in, very important, and lots of like herbs and stuff. and then I threw in the diced carrot and now I'm gonna chuck in my mince and brown that off. All right, so now we're assembling the shepherd's pie. The sauce is done, sweet potatoes mashed. So I'm gonna pop it in this big dish. William is here. Over for dinner. Hey fam. <laughs> hey fam. I thought you said you were deleting the dating apps. I've just seen Tinder pop up on your phone. I was deleting some of them. Then you do a generous layer of cheese. I've gone with a 
three cheese blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and parmesan. And we whack this in the oven for like 20 minutes. Everything's still like warm. So we basically just want to melt and brown the cheese. That's really the only reason why it's going in the oven. And then it's ready. 20 minutes timer on. Let's go. Look at that bubble. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's the same texture. What is going on there? Good morning, guys. Happy. Wait, what day is it today? Fucking long weekends. They'll get ya. Um. It's Wednesday. I trained cardio this morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm on my way to therapy. It's that time of the fortnight again. Uh, it's interesting going to therapy when I don't feel like I necessarily need it. And I think they say that that is when it's m the most important time to go because when you're actually feeling fragile or sad or down or like you have things that you really need to work through that are on your mind, you don't actually achieve a whole lot, I guess, in those sessions. Like obviously you work through whatever it is in that current moment that you need to work through, but that's not really when you start to unpack the deeper stuff. So if I'm being completely honest, I'm not looking forward to today because it means we're really gonna dig into some childhood stuff, which won't be fun, but I almost wanted to like cancel my appointment because I was like, nah, I feel good today. Like I don't need it, but that's when you need it the most. That's when it's really important to, to work on these kinds of things. But anyway, that's, that's therapy. I trained this morning, went for a lovely walk, had some breakfast at home, had a quick shower and now here I am. I have a pretty cruisy day. I've already filmed a couple of TikToks today. I filmed them on my walk. Oh, come on people, figure it the fuck out. I need to get my other vlog up. So I had that uploading this morning before I went to the gym. So hopefully I think that's all done and ready to go. I'll post that live today at around four. I need to go through content that I shot on Monday on the public holiday, go through that. I have a reel that I filmed or footage that I filmed at Melissa Young Beauty that I want to edit and sort out. Just, I have like content today so that's not too bad which is nice because it means I don't have to film anything because I don't know how like drained I'll be after today's session so at least I can sort of just sit and edit and have friends on in the background and it'll be lovely normally when I'm talking about this vlog talking in this vlog the last vlog's gone live so I can sort of like talk about the comments and things like that but it's Wednesday and the vlog's still not live so I have no feedback to discuss with you yet. So I'm, I'm hoping you're enjoying last week's vlog. I announced that I was going to Europe on my own solo travel, which is exciting. I feel like you guys will be really excited for that because I'm keeping the weekly vlogs up while I'm in Europe. It'll just turn into like a travel diaries and it'll be very candid and very, I don't want to say raw, like it's going to be bad, but like you guys will literally see sort of every step of the way, the places I love, the places I don't love as much, um, my experiences, things I probably wouldn't do again, things that I would really recommend. I don't know, I think it would be, it'll be really interesting. Well, I hope it'll be interesting and you guys will enjoy it, hopefully. Uh, and I'm so excited and I'm excited about traveling on my own and encouraging more people to travel on their own because there really is magic in exploring the world on your own even like those little weekend getaways. It's just so important to learn to love your own company. What was your name? Hi, my name's Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing my third vaccine today. <laughs> I hate needles, I hate needles. I know, you're gonna be fine, girl. Yeah, we're getting Pfizer today, fancy. Oh, are you ready for That's me? That's so cute, yeah. Oh God, oh, yeah, okay. do that now, so. First thing first, let's mm -hmm. do double checking together. So, okay. the vaccine we're getting today is called Cominati. <sighs> Alright, okay. let's do it. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, I'm going to drop your arm down. 
Yep, just relax as much as you can. Right, chef scratch. That's all done. Oh it's gosh, so you're so good. quick! I know, right? <gasps> I didn't even have time to panic. <laughs> That's all done. Oh, Yay. thank you so much. Everyone, go and get your third dose of vaccine. <laughs> or, or, or don't. I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> oh, so God. Cute. Thank you so much. No worries. I'm glad that's done. <laughs> Finally. Now I, can, now I can go traveling around Europe. Yay. How exciting. Are you going traveling this year at all? You're a new grad. That's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I no really worries. appreciate that. Have a good day. Bye. She is so cute. Hi guys. I'm running five minutes late to the head. Oh, I thought I didn't have my keys on me. I'm running late to the hairdressers. Uh, I got a last minute appointment before I go to Europe. I mean, it's not last minute, but Hayden is the best in Sydney my personal opinion and he was voted like best in Sydney at some point or something like that um, so he's very hard to get into and he had one he must have had a cancellation today I emailed last night and then I got in today at midday anyway I've had a pretty busy morning um, I had some edits to make to some content that I'd submitted and then I resubmitted that I went for a walk, a train, you know, the huge. Um, beautiful weather in Sydney. I was planning on going to the beach this afternoon, just laying in the sun on the grass and reading because it's so beautiful. I think it's going to get up to 17 or 18 today, but I have my hair appointment, so I'll do it tomorrow because I think tomorrow's going to be like 20 degrees. We're so lucky with this beautiful weather and then it rains for a few days and then it's sunny again and then I'm in Townsville where it's going to be like 26, 28 degrees every day that I'm there. It's just lovely. Hey guys, happy Friday. So, oh, what, time, what date do these go off? So yesterday was a bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, my hair appointment ended up being double booked so I got all the way there and they were like sorry uh, it was an accidental cancellation we'll book you in for tomorrow so I was like cool 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 uh, came home and actually no I went and met Annabelle because I had my packed lunch so we went and had a lovely picnic down at South Bondi it was quite divine really so it was okay in the end and now I'm packing my lunch again what the hell are you doing honey can't really see me can you I'm packing my lunch again I'll need to grab a salad from the Woolworths because the Caesar salad I went to get from the Metro in, bon in Rose Bay they had like cauliflower in it. I was like, that's not, that, that's not a Caesar. What the fuck? And the dressing looked brown. Looked weird. Take some shapes. Otherwise I just end up eating bad shit. Like I order heaps of Uber Eats. Cause a hair appointment is fucking 10,000 hours. You're just there for such a long time. It's just not ideal. Let's have snacks. I've got some Tim Tams, some shapes. I'll take an apple. I might make myself a little protein shake just to like tie me over because then I'm eating Louisa for a coffee in an hour ish hour. Yesterday was just a kerfuffle. My hair plans fell through and then my dinner plans last night. There was fucking miscommunication. I just came home, walked through the front door. Crystal was all excited because she was getting ready for a date and I was just like <sighs> walked straight into bed, took my clothes off. Got into bed, read my book. <laughs> I just didn't even want to talk about it. I was very upset. Ordered some Thai food, I was fine. Alrighty, I quickly saw Louisa. I'm gonna see her again tomorrow because I could only see her for like 20 minutes, but I did get my nail fixed. Can't even really tell which one it was because the nail color is that good, but it was my middle finger. How good is that? It's a little thick for my liking. That's why I hate SNS. It's just so thick. You won't be able to say that. 
But anyway, I've got all my shit. I have editing to do. Um, so much editing to do. I also bought my book in case I have time to read. Uh, I thought I would do an Instagram Q and A. And yeah, that's that's the plan. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> Honestly. Just trying to free ball and peace. <laughs> fuck. <laughs>